Hey everyone, it's Julia with you.com. I'm so excited to share with you some of the new updates to the site. The team did an amazing job shipping a bunch of new apps really geared toward learning. On the site, you'll find new encyclopedia apps, a dictionary app, as well as apps for more academic articles to really help you explore your curiosity. So let's kick things off with a sample search here. I'm gonna try searching for Albert Einstein. Now, if you're new to u.com, you'll notice that it does not look like your typical search engine. That's because it tailors results to your personal preferences. You'll see that I have an account and that I'm able to set my source preferences. u.com also lets you scroll vertically and horizontally so you can see more in a single query. Now, if I don't wanna scroll, I can jump right to whichever source I'd like to look at first. So in this case, I wanna to go to the encyclopedia app. And again, I can scroll horizontally. I can also open a side panel that gives me a useful summary about Albert Einstein and some of his works and theories. Now, if I like that source, I can also upvote it, indicating that I'd like to see that surface more often in my results. And here we have more encyclopedia um, apps, again, the same thing. So let's just scroll through and see what this query surfaces. We have uh, Wikipedia app, your web results app, I have quick facts, which has a new functionality with an open side panel that lets me see what other folks are asking. What are the questions I should be asking for this query so I can go deeper in a single query? I can also see what other uh, users are searching for. So I can scroll, scroll down and we have the Reddit app. It's one of my preferences. I like to see what real people are saying. Encyclopedia apps, maybe what to watch here. Um, Goodreads, so I can find out what to read. I can actually watch these videos too right in my search results page. So some scholarly articles from one of our new apps, which is the PubMed app. We also recently added a bio archive and we have the archive app as well. Now, if I scroll back up here, um, you know, if I wanted to see more of my results, I can add more apps. So let's go down here to shortcuts. And I wanna see if there's anything uh, in the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. And maybe I wanna see what kind of social media apps. Let's see, I wanna see what people are saying on Twitter about Albert Einstein. I'd like to also see, um, you know, more web results. Let's, I want to see what people are writing about on their Medium uh, blogs about Albert Einstein. You can see the fact apps. Okay, so here we can see Medium, which also gives me a side panel. I can see what people are writing in their, their blogs. I can see maybe some inspirational tweets or some wisdom. Let's see what people are tweeting. I can see, yes, people are putting out quotes about Albert Einstein on Twitter and the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, which is a great app that we just added to the site. So, you know, what's great about you.com is it really lets you search less and do and learn more in a single query. No more opening up tons of tabs. You can get more information in just a single search. So give it a try and let us know what you think.